Welcome, I'm Emily at Seeing Through the Hands Studio in Brooklyn. Today we're going to do the fourth office stretch series. Remember, we're human beings, not human doing. So let's be in the practice today using our breath. So grab the bottom of your chair with the left hand. Really grab it hard. Traction your left shoulder as though you're going to the ground. Grabbing and then take your head and lean it towards the right using traction, using gravity. Take a nice breath in and out. Go a little farther in and out and coming up. And now we're going to do it diagonal to the right. So keep that strong grip down. Draw your shoulder all the way down to the ground using your chair and diagonal your head to the right. Breathe in and out. In and out. The other side, remember to sit up nice and tall lengthening your spine. Imagine that your head is being pulled up by a puppet string. You're going to grab your chair with the right hand. Really grab it nice and firm. Traction it. Drop your right shoulder. Imagine you're touching the ground and lean your head to the left. Take a nice breath in and out. In and out. Back up. Grab the chair again. Nice and firmly, drop the right shoulder and diagonal the head to the left. Let gravity do the work. Now we're going to stretch the side. Sit up nice and tall, lengthen the spine, root your sit bones. The most important thing is to keep the sit bones rooted. Bring your right arm up, spread your fingers, open your chest, and stretch to the left. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Keep the right sit bone down. If this happens, you're going too far, and you're not getting the benefits of the stretch. So really, sit bones down and chest open, head up, fingers spread, and smiling. Coming out nice and smoothly, just like you in and other side. Left arm up, sit bones grounded, chest open and side stretch and looking up. Rooting the sit bones again. So if this happens, come up a little. Opening the chest, watch that you're not going forward. complementary to the forearm stretch and the forearm strengthener in the previous office stretch series. Take your right arm out, plug it in, put your thumb in your palm, cross your fingers over your thumb, and bend the hand forward. Right now you're stretching the wrist in a very specific way. Take a nice breath in and out. This is good for Duquerre veins in and out. This is great if you're in front of the computer in and out. And other side. Left arm up, plug it into the shoulder, thumb in the palm, fingers around the thumb, and bend it forward. Take a nice breath in and out. Stretching all the muscles that work so hard for us. In and out. And thinking all the muscles that work so hard for us. In. We're going to do a chest opener with the help of our chair. Think root and ride. We're going to root our sit bones, rise our spine, and open our chest. It's very important that you lead with your chest as you come up. I will guide you out of it. So please don't come up without me. Sitting, opening your chest, 
bringing your upper arms out so the palms are faced towards the wall you're facing. Rooting your sit bones really firmly to the chair. They are your foundation now. They are your feet. Lengthen your spine. Lean back on the chair. Open your arms and lean back, opening your chest and letting your neck rise onto your shoulders, the trapezius muscles. And now let's do a forearm stretch. Flex the forearm and spread the fingers. Flex the hand and spread the fingers. And now release back into just opening the chest and breathe into it, really letting your neck lay on your shoulders. Take a nice breath in and out. And as we come up, make sure your neck comes up last. Chest always leads first so we do not get injured. Chest, 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 chest. Drop the shoulders and raise the neck. stopping by at Seeing Through the Hand Studio in Brooklyn. Please visit the website at www.NewYorkCityMassageAndYoga.com. Thank you and have a sparkly day. Namaste.